It's all from Alliance Park. Yeah, I'm here for the game Caledonia Braves versus Tony Junior. Three of the Caledonia Braves 2011, initially formed as Edge Sport Academy. And it tells you there, the crew members SFA. First seen in the League 2018. I'm Stephen and I'm the club secretary here at Caledonian Braves. I have been since the start of this season. So tell me how you got involved then. A, a fan that had done a bit too much helping out. Uh, I, during lockdown, I was on Google Maps just looking for places to go walks. Uh, this whole area used to be kind of ash parks. And I seen that it was a, a football pitch with two stands. So I thought I'll, I'll take a wander down. Uh, I've done some digging online, found out the, the kind of history of the company, it's, it's on the wall yeah, there. Yeah. Um, I thought, what a, what a great idea. I was a long suffering Mullow fan for, for ages. I think as soon as you realise that you're, you're supporting a team in a league where the best you can ever hope to finish is third, yeah, yeah. and paying 25, 26 pounds right. for the privilege, right. you, you can take taken out. And it's been absolutely brilliant. So I was a fan for maybe two years and then. Uh, during the summer I was asked to become the secretary. <laughs> yeah, very good. I don't know if that's how everyone gets involved, but it's, it's ah, worked uh, out no bad. An interesting journey. Oh, the Phoenix. Brilliant. Right, I'm in the ground now. There's tons of training going on just now. And uh, kids and all the rest of it. We you walk around. Got these wee, two, two wee stands over there. They're quite good. Ah, they're good wee stands, eh? Well, my name is Callum Rattray. I'm part of the media team with Cali Braves. So, a little bit of history about the club. We're one of the one of the uh, newest. Well, the, we are the youngest club in the country, I should say, actually. And we're founded off a club called Edgy Sport Academy before, which is yeah. still existing, which is where young French players can come up. So we've got our recent group came up a few weeks ago, and they're up here now, so they get the chance to come here and play football. You know, learn English and get that whole experience. But the Cali Braves is a different club now, yeah. a separate entity to that as well. And as you might have seen, you mentioned it to me just before, is how the club went on sale yes. this summer to to owners in America. So we have fans all over all over the world. the world. A lot of them are in America, so that's really exciting, and it just gives them a chance to feel like they're you know a part owner in a football team. And you know, it's it's, it's taken off really well. And for example, today we're, we're streaming the games up here internationally yeah. for people to watch all around so and, we, we, and so you'll get people watching then from all over then yes yeah, so we've got owners all over the place there's just you can we're looking through it, it's incredible the random countries that pop up but we, you know we're streaming on the weekend we had a comment you know coming in saying watching in from texas and Brilliant. stuff like that <laughs> so yeah opening up scottish london league football yeah, yeah. to the world hopefully yeah who do your fan base from because you're not really connected to a town or a village mm -hmm. like like most teams are yeah well in the in the past the club played down in Annan actually so yeah. it was really it was before we didn't have anywhere to you know any support to come in and coming up here it's been a bit more you know so we're in a, an area around a lot of big places with a lot of big yes. football teams Motherwell and Hamilton and you know places like that so fans will come down from there we've had a young group of fans come through the recent games a young uh, casual group there they're calling themselves <laughs> so um and they're, they're Motherwell fans originally yeah. as well but they you know chance to come see some local footballs yeah. something they definitely enjoy and then obviously we have this online community as well which has been great for us as well yeah that's great, thank you very much. Here we go, ambition, respect and community. I noticed you didn't have the best at the start of the season, but, but do you feel now you, you, you're, you're gelling, you've got the players and you've got the, everything coming together? Eh? Exactly that, exactly right. I mean, to put it into context, if you know you don't know that you know, we, we lost seven players, seven yeah. starting players, nine in total, so we had to re, re the group and from nowadays, from the last game of the season for, for us, which was the hang of the last Saturday in May, was the cup final, which we won to the first day of pre-season was only like two or three weeks, two and a half weeks. So um, we dealt with that straight away and we had to, it was a work in progress as we went and it was a real challenge in the summer. Um, but we probably got the, the squad properly together a week before the season started. Um, and, we've, and I've always said my, my coat line this season so far is it's a work in progress uh, in which it is and it, which it will be right to the way to the end but I know where I want to get it to and we're, we're now picking up a bit of pace and picking up points and I now see where where I need to you know, improve the squad a bit clearer where does it start, everybody's a bit unsure I think and that's where, uh, including myself by the way yeah. in terms of my start and living and I've admitted that to the boys it's very hard to pick a team from you know, a new group of players so um, I'm happy where we are at at the moment, we need to keep progressing. And tonight, you're playing tonight, you're fourth in the league. 
off from a, a, a great cup run as well. So it'll be a, a, a really challenging game tonight. The challenge game tonight's a good side. I like what they're all about. You know, like uh, you know, uh, you know, they go to tonight's a good game as well on the grass, and they've got a good setup. And as you can see, it's a very well-run club. So and I like the manager a lot as well. So um, it'll be a good challenge. I'm looking forward to it. But I always believe we're going to win. By the way, it doesn't matter who we play. I don't think the standards hugely high, and that's no. not disrespectful to the players. It's between the, the bottom and the top. Is what I'm meaning. And, um, you know, I think on our day we can go and beat anybody in, in a club to an end and that. Yeah. But it'll certainly be an interesting game, so I'm looking forward to it. Thanks very much. Drum coming along. What are you called, guys? The Cali Casuals. Good stuff. A brilliant cup run. How did the boys to concentrate in the league game? Get the players to concentrate in the league games. Ah, it's just another game of football, isn't it? Uh, it's a midweek game under the lights. Uh, boys travel for what? They've just got to get themselves ready for it and up for it and just go and try as hard as they can and win the game. Well, there's the team teams out, uh, Caledon and Braves, and that's the sky blue and uh, the net in the blue. And there's kickoff. I'll just move my way around to the stands here. Hopefully I don't miss anything. I missed the penalty or a safe penalty and an offside goal there. Well, to the first corner of the turn in. Oh, shot in the uh, good seat. to the altars. I didn't mind. <laughs> Oh, 
half time and it's 1-0 and they can't really breathe. Well the chance to go 1-0 early on. Did you get a good view of the penalty? I got a good view uh, uh, Norrie but the thing is Brock's I don't know if he's a really good penalty taker or not mate but nah. it wasn't well taken was it? Nah it wasn't well taken and the thing is uh, Cali have pounced on it got the goal yep. got one disallowed before it but yeah Deserving the lead, but Trent needs to improve. They need yeah. to improve the second half, mate. I'll give me two halves. Definitely, hopefully. Right, hopefully, mate. Thank you. Second half just underway, Thank and you. uh, you're a nice yeah. man's pie here at uh, Cali Breeze, by the way. I didn't even know to do pie the views, but uh, very good. Yeah. Go do and take it. Have a bit of Oh, that was the far away. So that's the uh, first corner and a half to Cali Braves. Jones, they are beauty. Oh. oh, there we go. Oh, a chance here for oh. oh, again, that was close. Oh, 
Nossa, aí. Ó. Ó. I didn't hear the 
it's all there. What? You'll be disappointed we uh, lose that goal uh, at the end here because I think we're on top in the second half. Yeah, disappointed uh, at the end here, but you know, they do put a bit of pressure on us, but I think we've had a wee period in the game and we should have maybe taken another goal and taken advantage to make, make three one up, but unfortunately we didn't do that and we've got to work hard to defend the last minutes of the game and we didn't do it, so a bit disappointed. Yeah. And you'll be pleased with the two goals you scored though, I thought they were really good, well won goals. I think the boys in the second half, you know, asked them to do a couple of other things and they, they did it and they, they got their goals and they played really well. Be fair. Again, I think we had to be chances to maybe take that step again and uh, get us through one in front and we just didn't take them, so we've got to try and work hard, uh, see the end of the game out and unfortunately didn't do it. Okay, thank you. We'd like to get that um, the goal there to equalise because I thought to them had a, had a better second half. Well, listen, I thought they started the second half better. Obviously, they, they got their tails up. I think the first 15 minutes, 20 minutes, I thought they were better than us. But I thought we finished the game the last 20, 25 minutes stronger. And I thought we looked like we were going to score. Um, and we obviously did score. I was disappointed to lose a one nothing lead. So I obviously felt at half time that we'd go and score another goal and that would kill the game. We yeah. obviously never done that. Listen, Trinette's a good side, good manager, good coach, um, good, good players as well. Um, so we have to pay respect to that, of course. Um, but in terms of, from my point of view, I'm thinking we can go and kill this game, but yeah. really getting on the ball and causing them problems with energy and runs. It didn't work that way, and in the end, I'm pleased to, that the boys showed a bit of character to come back, not for the first time either. Yeah, and I'd, uh, for the neutral, it was a good game, and there was four good goals, but, but it, was a good, it was a good game. Yeah, I thought it was a bit flat at points. Maybe that was just me, just kind of quiet, that I felt that... The, the atmosphere was a bit quiet for the, both sets of players actually, it was just a perception that I had on it, rightly or wrongly. Uh, but I think it was a good game, like I say, there's good players on show, Trinette's got good score, we've got a good score, we've got some good players. We're definitely a work in progress, mm. we want to keep getting better, we've got good young players that, um, you know, Robbie Stewart, a 17 year old at left back, you know, um, just turned 17 not that long ago, so he's a work in progress all, all the time, so we've got some good players coming off the bench, uh, so I'm happy with the group of boys, I just want us to get better and keep improving and results have picked up um, for us in the last couple of months but also some of the performances. So we need to take that to the next level and that's the key. Well there you go, two all. Uh, that was a good game. Hey, uh, four, four good goals. But I thought tonight we're going to win that. Uh, but it was a good fight back by uh, the Braves, uh, two all. As always, the warm welcome uh, in the Lowland League. Very hospitable, so it's a nice place to visit and a very interesting club, a young club, a club that is not really attached to a town or a village, which is really unusual, uh, but they're established here and they do attract people from nearby like Hamilton and Motherwell, uh, but it's unusual, as I say, not to have a, a sort of town or associated with a town or a, a village or something like that, uh, but very interesting and I really enjoyed my visit to Alliance Park home of Caledonian Braves.